This is a newer type of container that we have had some issues with uh, in their short term of life here in the state. The way these are sealed, the zippers are supposed to interlock. And when they interlock, there is one eyelet that the zipper can go through, the seal can go through. Uh, what has happened in this particular case is that instead of running through the eyelet uh, of the interlocking zippers, they've run the seal through the eyelets at the end of the zipper pulls. As a result, regardless of how tight you make your seal, you're still going to be able to open those zippers. Uh, the length uh, of the zippers themselves plus whatever slack you have in the uh, seal itself. So again, you're going to have enough room here to put ballots in or take ballots out with a little bit of effort. Uh, the proper use of this particular container, number one, the eyelets at the end of the zippers need to be plugged. Uh, the state or the vendors are actually providing these plugs to us. Uh, one way is a pop rivet type mechanism. The other way is a shrink tubing type thing. You just put that over the uh, zipper poles. Uh, that is taking away the ability of election workers to use the wrong eyelets. And now in this particular case, with the zippers completely pulled together, the seal has been run through that overlapping eyelet and now we cannot open this container whatsoever. This is a properly sealed container.